Something smells so good. Tag's Bakery. I've heard of this place. This is a staple in Evanston. It's been here over 50 years. I'm about to go in and see if my nose is taking me to the right place. I think it has. So driving into Evanston today, I couldn't help but swing in to this bakery. And I did a little research. You guys have been here 50 years. And walking into this place, I felt like I was walking into like a Hallmark Channel movie scene. It was so cozy and festive and there's like Mr. Christmas in here. Yeah, well thank you and welcome. I'm glad you're here today. The bakery actually opened in 1937. Uh, the first owner only owned it a year. He named it after his dad's initials, which was Thomas Albert Gorham. It was called Tag's Home Bakery back then. And then he sold it in 38 to the Gephardt family. And they had it from 38 to 68. And then my dad bought it in 68. So we've been here ever since. Those are called Florentines. They're our house specialty. We've been making them since the early 70s, and they're pretty much a baked confection. They're made out of sugar, butter, honey, and almonds, and then they're coated with chocolate on the bottom. And then we put a little piece of candy cherry on the top for color. We sell a ton of them at the holiday seasons. We also sell them in some local Joe grocery stores. We ship them around the country, and locals as well love them as much too. There was a couple that shop here and they were in Germany and they were in a local bakery in there and they were going in to try their Florentines. And when they got them, they tried them and they heard a customer behind say, oh, but they're not as good as tags. Everything was so festive and Christmassy. I mean, what is it like? What, what's it typically like here on a, on a regular day? You know, every day brings us something new and different. It, it depends. The business has grown quite a bit over the years with our specialty cakes and designs. We do a lot more fondant things, shake cakes, cupcake cakes, tiered cakes for special occasions. So it's kind of changed over the course of time, but it's been fun. Now for the moment of truth to try the world-renowned Florentine cookie that Tag's Bakery is famous for. Dana, head production manager here at the bakery, and you're about to teach me how to do this, like something like this. I know mine's going to turn out exactly like that, too. I can feel it. It will. We're going to be doing galaxy cupcakes to match this cake. So we have to pick up our pastry bags that are swirled with the colors pink, the black, the blue, and we're going to swirl away. Swirl from outside in. Great! Garnish with some nonpareils and just sprinkles of glitter. My precious. This bakery is magnificent and the smells are for reals. All right, off to the cafe. Cafe, cafe, where is this thing? Oh. I gotta walk so far. Chad is the head chef here at Tags Cafe, and he's about to take me to the savory side of Tags. What do we? What's going on here today, Chad? Um, today we're featuring uh, a deep dish quiche. We have a butternut squash, sage, and cheddar. We also have a turkey and stuffing uh, leftover Thanksgiving type quiche. We do. Uh, we're having a couple soups. We have chili every day. Today our soup is a Tuscan chicken with white bean, and then we have a butternut squash soup as well. One of the great things about working here is the people. It's they're just great people to work with. It's a joy to come to work every day. We create a family atmosphere and we hope that the customers kind of feel that when they walk in, that it's a family kind of place and, and we want you to feel part of the family. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. They have served me up a spread. I have the sweet from the bakery and the savory from the cafe. This is the kind of place that generations of families have made their traditions and that you should make your traditions between the staff that have been here 30 years, 20 years. It's just, I can't say anything, but it should be in a Hallmark card. This place should be on a Hallmark card. So, but now is where I leave you. You need to look away because what I'm about to do isn't gonna be pretty. So, bye.